Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Brad Fusion here with an interesting Space News video. Now currently you guys can see my desktop, but my wallpaper might be a little bit bigger than my recording resolution. Uh, nonetheless, let's move on to the topic of the video, and that is interesting audio files and the hint and possibility of food and water being in Space News. Now, this is all speculation and rumour with very little evidence to follow it. Now, I'm not claiming to be the person who found this stuff. There was actually a comment left on one of my videos by a subscriber who said uh, to go check out this directory because of the audio files that were in there. And the directory itself is, if I bring this up right now, you'll see it's in the Steam folder in uh, slash Steam apps slash common slash space engineers slash content slash audio slash VOC and slash HUD. Now in here, you'll notice some XWM files. Now these can't normally be played unless you play them through something such as VLC Media Player or maybe the really old Media Player as well. But I'll play these for you in a second after going over a few of the titles with you guys. So we have HUD Battery Critical and HUD Battery Low. Originally I thought these were going to be connected to the Suit Energy because right now in game if your Suit Energy gets low enough you simply just get a pop up. There's no audio cue or anything like that, just a pop up saying that your suit energy is getting low. And if you get to a critical state which is under 5%, it says the same thing. Your suit energy is critical, uh, death is imminent, uh, whatever it normally says, but that's just text. There's no actual audio to go alongside it. And that's what I thought this will have to do with. Uh, it's simply just saying battery instead of energy. But then you go down a little bit further and you see hard battery off and hard battery on. Now obviously with your suit energy you can't exactly turn that on or off so maybe this is a hint at some sort of battery system in game or uh, like I'm kind of thinking it has to do with the reactors themselves on the ships and stations because you can turn them on and off. Moving on to the next interesting thing skipping over the docking and the engines on and off we have HUD food critical and HUD food low. Now this is one of the most probably one of the major things that I want to bring up to you guys that kind of makes this stand out from my uh, previous slash initial uh, kind of thoughts I had on these files here. So my initial thoughts were that these probably tra were transferred over from the previous game that used the same engine which was Minor Wars. Now Obviously, since Space Engineers uses a very similar engine, if not the same engine, because it's both developed by Akeen Software, it didn't surprise me that maybe some of the files had been transferred over in the production process. But as far as I remember, Minor Wars didn't actually have food or water or any of these uh, functionalities in it. It was a very combat focused game. I, admittedly, I never played it myself, so I could be completely wrong in this statement. But food and water, as, as far as I remember, was never an element in Minor Wars, which makes me think that some of these files have nothing to do with Minor Wars and instead are actually related to Space and Nears, which uh, further makes me think that there will be food and water in Space and Nears, which, like I said, is very interesting because more so I knew Space and Nears has its own survival game, I never thought I'd see food and water being implemented. I mean, maybe it's just me, maybe I thought survival just was simply about surviving against the elements in the game, but never, I never thought about it surviving against hunger and thirst. So if we get a, go a little bit further down, you'll see something that says HUD incoming transmission. Now, I kind of skipped over this initially because I thought maybe this was a file that had transferred over from Minor Wars, and because obviously that, that game was a story-driven game, there was probably some, a lot of pop-ups from NPCs talking to you and whatnot. But I kind of thought, what if this did, what if this was connected to Space and Nears? What if there was an incoming transmission pop up or alert and there was an NPC talking to you? Or maybe, maybe it's something to do with players as well. I'm not entirely too sure. But I'm hoping that incoming transmission, if this was connected to Space and Nears, I'm hoping that this means that there might be AI or NPCs in the future. For example, a pirate ship will come up to you or something like that and you'll see incoming transmission flash up. You'll hear the audio cue, and then the NPC will talk to you saying, I'm going to kill you, blah blah blah. But, like, like I said a few seconds ago, this might be connected to Minor Wars and Dot Space and this, but I, I'm hoping, hoping that this means there will be NPCs. We go further down, we'll see a few other interesting things, such as HUD player detected, HUD reloading and repairing, repairs complete, uh, self destruct, and target loss, as well as transmission loss. Now, a lot of these things are kind of self explanatory and Kind of expected. I mean, play detected might mean that it's going to be some sort of radar system, maybe. I'm hoping that's what the antennas are going to be useful because currently they don't serve a purpose. 
Uh, but then again, that might also be connected to the incoming transmission, so maybe there'll be some sort of events in game that once you have the antenna uh, built, you can receive these uh, signals or transmissions from AIs or NPCs or other ships that will maybe, like for example, like a distress beacon. I remember talking about them a while ago. Uh, a distress beacon can pop up, you won't know what it is until you go investigate it. So I'm hoping that maybe incoming transmissions uh, will have something to do with that. And like I said, there are antennas in the game that currently don't serve any real purpose right now. Uh, yet again, further down, there is hard transmission lost, which makes it, it makes me think yet again it's either connected to NPCs or to the previous game. Uh, Union ID, which I think might have something to do with either factions or, yet again, minor wars. But then there's HUD warning enemy radar, missiles detected, proximity mines, and stealth enemies. Now, the enemy radar makes me think yet again something to do with the antenna, or maybe there is going to be a new radar block implemented uh, if this isn't. I'm not going to be saying this every single time I bring up something, but if this isn't connected to Minor Wars, I'm going to speculate what this is going to be implemented into space and is with. So, the enemy radar detected, maybe that's a hint at more NPCs, or the faction system. Missiles detected is pretty self-explanatory, but why would you get a missiles pop-up if you don't have anything to counter said missiles? So maybe there is going to be some sort of counter thing, I'm guessing maybe not flares, but... Maybe there is something to uh, kind of destroy it or distract the missiles coming at you. Proximity mines is pretty simple. I'm guessing that it might be connected to warheads if you fly near one. I'm not entirely too sure just yet. Stealth enemies detected was an interesting one in itself because I'm wondering what could a cell, what kind of stealth system could they possibly have in space? And is obviously there wouldn't be anything like cloaking because that's a little bit too far fetched. But maybe some sort of thermal cloak or just just i don't know that because there's so many things it could be i'm just not entirely too sure what kind of stealth mechanics that they could implement into the game but last but not least there is hard water critical and hard water low so as i said before i'll, I'll play back some of these audio for you guys just so you guys get to listen to what it actually sounds like now keep in mind that the audio is going to be very very jumpy i'm not too sure why that is whether it's because the audio itself isn't finished or isn't actually compiled correctly or whether it's just what I'm actually playing it with. So let me play back a few of this for you now. I'll open up VLC so you guys can uh, hear the sound. So let's play HUD Water Low first. Message 1. Low on water. Now, as I said, it is very, very choppy. And if I play uh, message number 2 for that. Low water levels. In that instance, she said low water levels, which makes me think that maybe the water itself isn't connected to you. But maybe something to do with your ship or station, because why would you have a water level? Uh, it, it just it just doesn't seem right to say water levels. And if I play the message number three for you... Please refuel water stores. She says, please refuel water stores. Or maybe she says storage, it just kind of cut out the end there. So, yet again, water storage and water levels doesn't seem like something that you'd say when referring to yourself. Uh, I'm not going to say, oh, I'm thirsty, I better refuel my water stores. That doesn't make much sense to me. So maybe there's some sort of water system that you'll have to refuel yourself at. So maybe you don't get a pop-up when you're thirsty, but instead you'll get a pop-up when the storage levels inside your station are getting low. Uh, let's move up to the HUD warning stealth enemies. Warning. Stealth enemies detected. So I will be translating all this. She said, uh, warning stealth enemies detected they aren't very great stealth enemies if they have been detected, but nonetheless that I thought was interesting enough to play back to you guys as well. Uh, let's go up to the warning enemy radar. Warning enemy radar detected. So you know, not that I thought at first when it said warning enemy radar, I assume that meant maybe there was an enemy that popped up on your radar, but instead it says enemy radar detected, so uh, yet again maybe some sort of faction system that can determine whether or not a radio device is enemy or friendly so that might be connected to that and if we go a little bit higher i'll just play a few more of these for you guys and i'll play the uh uh food low and food critical so let's play back the food low message one low on food pretty simple low on food message two low food reserves 
Yet again, low food reserves, making me think that it's connected to a station on the ship and not actually uh, your person or the astronaut himself. Let's go message number three. Food reserves are low. Food reserves are low. So like I said, yet again, connected to station slash ship and not exactly yourself. And we go to the food critical messages. Out of food. Out of food, pretty simple. Food has been depleted. Food has been depleted. Food stores have been expanded. Food stores have been expanded. Now, the reason why I think there's uh, three variations of each message, uh, no, it's just kind of clicked into me then. Uh, both message three uh, for each is connected to uh, some sort of food storage. Uh, message two is connected to that yet again. But however, message one seems to be connected to, it doesn't seem to refer to any sort of sto storage, it just says food is low and uh, food is, has been depleted, which makes me think that maybe the message one variations are connected to the astronaut, and the message two and three variations are connected to some sort of station slash ship. Uh, yet again, if we go up to the hard battery on or off. Battery enabled. Battery enabled. Battery off. And then battery off. So this wouldn't be something I'd think I'd hear when turning on and off my reactors. So I'm thinking that maybe, hopefully, there will be some sort of battery system implemented in the game. Uh, I think I've played enough. If you guys want to listen to this yourself, uh, feel free to go to this directory and use something such as a VLC player to actually play them back. Let me know what you guys think of some of these files, some of these mechanics. Say, for example, what do you guys think of the batteries? What do you guys think about the food and water? The transmissions? And, well, I mean, god, there's so much stuff here. Just basically, what do you think about all of this stuff? Let me know in the description, uh, let me know in the comments down below, not the description. And I will see you guys next time. So thank you guys for watching. I think this was some very interesting information. If you guys have heard it before, I apologize. But I thought I should let you guys who don't know, know. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Have an awesome day. And stay awesome.